evening, afternoon. Hello, everybody, and oh, I discovered that. Welcome <laughs> to our next vlog, as part of the. Go and say it. Shite YouTubers. <laughs> so this is. Stephen just making a noise on the table. Um, what you would change about your van? Are the things you like? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. It is. So what? So we should we start with the things we would change or the things that we like? Well, it's the things we change is easy. Go on. The motorhome. Yeah. <laughs> We have had some issues with it, but you get issues with every van or motorhome. You do. But overall, no, it's all it's all right. I find. <coughs> For a motorhome, it's all right. Um, yeah, we we would change some things though. Uh, we should should have got a van with a garage and a fixed bed. Really. Yeah. Um, yeah. in hindsight, we love the rear lounge. That is the payoff. It is, isn't it? So either you get your rear lounge or you you know, you get a fixed bed in the garage. You can't have both really. Um but You can. If you had like five hundred grand to spend on a van. No, no, a lot of the new, <laughs> newer ones now, haven't they? They've got the U shaped lounge and either drop down bed there or drop down I bed in the back. Drop, drop down bed living no, in it full time. No, that's that's, that's the, my issue. That's the other problem, yeah. Um so yeah. A next motorhome we, ha we are going to have a fixed bed in a garage. Mm. Yes. Definitely. And I would like a big fridge. <laughs> yeah. I'd go with that one, to be fair. But we do love the van. Um, it you know, feels very spacious to us, doesn't it? It's you know, I'm like... you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad time, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's light, it's airy, it feels spacious. Yeah, it feels really spacious and you've obviously got your separate dinette and lounge so if I want to come and work on editing I can come and sit here if he wants to watch the TV and vice versa. Not that Stephen edits but he can sit up here and listen oh, to his phone. I'm always editing. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be learning this year. You've not learned nothing so far. Editing now. Imaginary editing. Um... Yeah, and the dinette's really nice to be able to sit at a table and have your, have have your food. Have tea, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we didn't even food. do that in the house, really, because we didn't have a table. Well, when we did have a dining room, we never we sat used it. it. I think we did one Christmas dinner. Yeah, twice. What, no ones. We had two Christmas dinners in the house. I think one of them we had it on our tea on our lap. Probably. Um, yeah, so I really like the dinette, and I don't think I'd like to give that up. I don't know, it depends on no, the No, I don't, I don't think I would, actually. I, I was just thinking about that then when you said that. And I was thinking, no, because it's like a bit of storage. Yeah, because we keep because stuff like under slow the cooker. table. Uh, the Got slow stuff cooker, under the yeah. cooker. We always eat breakfast here. Yep. We always eat dinner here. Yep. And we always eat tea here. Yep. And we always have. So, no, I don't think we could go without it. No, I don't think we could. And we, and we make, when we're doing a video in the van, we always do it here. Yeah, we do. So I there you to go. Do it in the lounge, but he didn't want to do it because apparently Daisy likes to sit on my knee and noise him. So the dogs are locked in the back, and we're here. <laughs> yeah. So then most of them are done here. Yeah. So, so it is yeah. it's ideal. The table is a bit big. I would like a smaller, like in width wise table. Cause it's quite difficult yeah, to get in and out. Yeah, a couple isn't of it? inches. Yeah. Off. That's the only the only difference. But yeah, I do. We do yeah. do really like the van, but there are some. We bought the wrong one in, in hindsight, but you know. But had we not bought one with a rear lounge, we always would, should have would have said we would have liked one with a rear mm. lounge. So now we've done it. What well, thing is? I'm trying to think now. Did we know anyone with a rear lounge? I don't think we do. Yeah, one us. Steve and Kath. Yes, yes. That's it, I think. So yeah, you would have. Well, obviously Gary and Jill, but they've got Carol. Yeah. So I suppose, yeah, you would have eventually come across it then, and then. Yeah, I've been jealous, and think I really wanted one, and blah blah. Yeah. And 
weirdly we did look at a, a swift bolero that had a fixed bed and a small garage uh, but it was a french bed definitely not big enough for the two of us and two dogs it was, it was small it felt small it needs to be an island bed. it needs to be a big a bigger bed yeah or the two singles with the middle that yeah pulls out of that out. with the big high bed so that that would be what we would go for next and as much as i love the space in this van it's a big van for europe it's not it's a small van in Europe. It's a big van for travelling around Europe. It is, but it's also a small van for Europe. But because the, of, all they do, all the big massive yeah. ones do, is go to a campsite, pitch up and don't move for months. For what or, we, or a free park. What we do is a big van. Why? I don't think it was. Because they were mostly small. I think a lot of Europeans though, do live in smaller. Yeah. And we notice a lot with the, a lot of the European fans that don't have cookers, and obviously we live full time in our van, so we need a cooker. Um, it's not something that doesn't get used; it gets used every day, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah. yeah, we would need a cooker. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about what we would. We don't need the over cab bed. No, I'd definitely like a low profile one. Yeah, next we'd, one. we'd like a, a low profile one because. But if you've got the garage, you don't. We don't need the storage. We so always say, "Oh, we would sleep up there if we didn't have the dogs." But we have both been up there, and it's very claustrophobic for two people. Yeah, especially where the domes. It's where the domes down. It yeah, feels the one on the side of the dome where the above Towards the, the engine. Yeah, would would feel very claustrophobic there. Yeah. Um, it's alright for one person, and like, and you've slept in it in the summer when it's been really hot, haven't you, on your own? Yes, I have, yeah. Because um, it was just been too hot for us all to be in the same bed. Especially when the dogs are like, they want to cuddle you. <laughs> Even though it's about a thousand degrees. Um, but yeah, we don't need the over cab bed. No, we don't. Although this archway makes the van feel bigger. Yeah, when you look at it there, if you went all the way across, you probably, you're going to lose... Probably about two foot there, Not I space. reckon, looking It at makes it. the van feel really spacious, especially yeah, when you first walk in. And it's very light, because obviously you've got the skylight just above. So, yeah, you, this compromises yeah. with everything, isn't it? Mm. Um, in an ideal world, you'd have it all, but you generally can't have it all when you travel around on four wheels. No, you can't. Or six wheels, and a tag axle. <laughs> or twin wheel, which is six. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. You got anything else to say? No, I'm happy with the motor home, it does. It does the job, and it did 4,000 miles around Europe and didn't miss a beat, bless it. So, oh, yeah. apart from our water pump issue, which you all know about. It did still 10,000 miles last year. Yeah. Now it's like... Pretty trouble-free-wise, it's just been... Cosmetic. Yeah, you get stuff yeah. that gets used, like the door. The door issues are all, you know, that door has opened more times than the bloody. Uh, you didn't say something rude. No, no, no. There you were. <laughs> I wasn't. I don't think. Yeah. But it is opened a lot of times a day compared to. Uh, Somebody that doesn't live in it. Yeah. So, you know, recreational vehicle sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's fine. It's, it's we've got a lot of storage in this van, like overhead locker storage and the wardrobe and that. Yeah, oh big yeah. cupboard in the bathroom. And you got that up there. Yeah. So despite the fact we haven't got a garage, we do have a lot of storage. Yeah, we do. But yeah, it'd be nice to have a garage to put the bikes in, put the kayak in. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I suppose you, you, oh, the, you just gonna, the wetsuits and stuff like that. You know, just gonna fill that full of shit. Well, it won't be full of shit. It's stuff we've all well, already it will, got. But you, you want more and more, and then like what? Go, I don't know. It's you. I want more stuff. What do I want? You're the one that keeps buying batteries and battery chargers and all sorts of stuff. I've not spent any money. Batteries, lithium. Well, I haven't spent any money. Like, this you, you, you'll thank me yeah, you know, when we're away and you can keep oh, a light on. All I've done is spend the shopping. Yeah. That was another thing we did talk about. Like, we have done a few times about car, haven't we? 
Yeah. And, you know, it's not too bad here because there's a bus that comes right up from Keswick and you can go to quite a lot of places from Keswick or... On For two quid yeah, each. until the end of June. Or on the 555, which passes the bottom of our site. But Anglesey, we were very, very isolated there. Yeah, we were. Um... We've just seen uh, Cassie and uh, Darren. Yeah, they they said that they thought about getting a car as well. It is very isolating there. I suppose a lot of places can be, but I suppose when, when you got know, to think of it from this way, when the prices go up in June, mm. it's not going to be you know what what, what yeah, is it two for eight, eight quid <laughs> eight quid gets us. I could get us to Lancaster and back if we wanted to. Yeah, it's or two. Anywhere, it's two quid. You can go yeah, to Penrith. You can go to Penrith, yeah. Cockermouth, Workington, wherever. But once that stops, it's not going to be as easy to get on a bus no. because you're going to be paying full fare. No. So it has been something that's crossed our minds, but the cost of taxing, insuring, fueling, buying a decent car these days for decent money you know not stupid through the roof but then prices. you know you've got to say to yourself is well, what we would do with how, it how much do you pay for Sainsbury's this uh, delivery delivery I've got a delivery pass at £7.50 for the month so £7.50 for a month so base that on a four week month that's four week four, four deliveries if you had a car it's cost more than that you've got to go to Penrith there's a Tesco in there Penrith isn't there but would you want to shop at Tesco? I'm shopping at Sainsbury's because as it's worked out cheaper than Asda with the delivery pass. Um, and Asda kept giving me stupid substitutions. So it's, it's one of them. I think having a car, you will be tempted to go more places. So it will cost you more. Yeah. Although we have deviated off track. It's not, no. not about that. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about the van. So yeah, we do use the van as a car. And we are going to do more like it's difficult in the lakes there's not that many park ups oh, no. um, but there's quite a bit of day parking so we are going to try and go out for the day next to a lake get the kayak out and go find a night park up are we I think so so yeah we do try and use the van as a car it's obviously not as easy as our old van which we did use a lot as a car didn't we it was a lot smaller it was a lot smaller so yes, the size. And we didn't have our worldly possessions in it. We had just had our holiday yeah, possessions. Yeah, rec- well, the recreational vehicle. Yeah. The size of the van is a good thing in the fact that we live in it, but also a bad thing when you're trying to park it. And then, <laughs> really, in it. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. You want? If you could go back, would you buy this van again? <sighs> yeah. Because when I was looking around, I was just. We went to the NEC. Yeah, we did. We went motorhome shopping. Yeah, we did. And nothing stood out to me as much as this did. Well, we went in. What happened was we went in one. I can't remember what it was, but it had the, uh, uh, the dinette, didn't it? Overcab bed and a rear lounge. And we decided we loved that, but the overcab bed. They'd had dogs up there and they chewed it to pieces, remember? Oh, that was when yes. we decided that we liked the idea of a diner and a real lounge. Because we hadn't considered that. We went into this going full time when we were still in the house. Wanted an island bed. <laughs> we wanted a carriage. <laughs> and then we walked into that van and completely changed our minds. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was the one where the dogs. Well, dogs well, we been presume up there. Yeah. Had, had eaten the blind. Yeah, eaten the blind and they yes. chewed all the netting yes. up there and there was all the mattress was all scratched. I remember that. Yeah, um, it, it, other than that, it, it was a nice van. I don't it's know a pile of shit. What it was. Oh, can't I can't remember, remember what it was. CI. Then, I can't remember. we kept going in and out of vans, and we'd seen another Bailey approach that we'd been in and had a look at. That was nearer to Manchester, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And that hadn't been very well treated either. It'd been treated right, it'd just been used. Well, it had kids in it. Yeah, think. it'd been and used. And it was all and... scratched, and you know, there was bits well, not great <laughs> in hindsight we should have bought that one but that was only three and a half ton ah uh, yes 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 in hindsight we shouldn't have bought that mm. one this one's been up up, up plated on it no the, the that one Peugeot chassis ones yeah. are th- uh, 3850 the Fiat Fiat ones are three and a half that was only three and a half ton so yeah 
Um, I could have drove that though. You know, it, it swings in roundabouts. But you would have only had. I beg to pay a load. We couldn't have had bikes. We couldn't have we had We've got what six hundred and sixty kilo now payload. So take off three hundred and fifty. So that's about three hundred kilo payload. A tank of water's hundred. Yeah. So you know it swings in roundabouts, doesn't it? So mm. yeah, we end, we ended up seeing this van, really liking it. He really loved the Bolero, but I made him sit in it for half an hour and said to him, "Can you imagine yourself living in this?" And um, that's what we had to take into consideration because yeah. that was the reason that we were getting rid of our old van and going with a new van. Because otherwise, if we were staying in the house and staying in our old jobs, we just would have kept our old van because there was nothing wrong with it. No, We'd redone we all the bathroom the, and it was sound. Yeah. But we ended up going for this. Yeah. We did. Which was a lot of money. Well, we've done it, we're here. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd probably stick with the motor home. I'd probably change, do some. But then again, as we were looking at these, there wasn't much on the market. No, there wasn't. Uh, so uh, we had a look at them, what are they called? Jo 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 Joico. Joico's or whatever yeah. they're called, the new ones. Oh, they're part of um, one of the big groups, aren't they? But yeah, the cheap. Gorgeous on like walking in and looking at it in the show. And then when you sit and you start pulling drawers out and opening cupboards, they're very cheaply made and you couldn't live in one. They're about 50 grand, weren't they? Yeah, they're cheap. You, but they're all right for a recreational vehicle. I think they tend to be rentals. Yeah, um, they only about 50 grand. It was like five grand down and it was a couple hundred quid a month. It was nothing. Yeah, it was cheap. And you got kind of carried away with yourself until I sat in it with Tracy and I was opening cupboards and I was like... This isn't made for, no, I, for it's hard like, juice. <laughs> no, it would have fell apart by now. It would have fell apart by now. But say that, this has. Well, the door has. The door. But the door's been a problem right from the start, hasn't it? Wall pumps and by the by. Yeah. They don't go on anything and yeah, whatnot. They so. do, and they do. We've got the uprated one now, though. So. Yeah, yeah, no. So, yeah, we've had our issues and we have our little foibles with this van, but. As you all know, especially if you are full time or mostly full time, you get used to your van and its foibles, don't you? You you, you get to live in its means. Yeah. So we've got everything play it planned out. We know where everything is. We know what we've got, and what we can't have, and what we can have. We, we, we deal with it. Yes. Deal with it. It's not that bad. So recently, Stephen changed the battery over, and he was missing some tools and bits and pieces because at your mum and dad's, because obviously he can't carry everything with us. Uh, and he's like, "Oh, I wish I would have brought them," but the plan wasn't to change the battery here; it was to change it once we got back to your mum and dad's once we finished the season. So you've just brought things forward a little bit. <laughs> well, it's it's getting used to the lithium and whether it will do us for in Europe. There was no point fitting the lithium. Jumping on the Euro tunnel, going to going to Spain, France and Spain, and then going. Uh, oh right. Uh, uh, hmm. So yeah, the the storage with regards to tools and this and that isn't brilliant. Clothes and food and that is great, other than the fridge. Um, but yeah, tools, bikes, kayaks, it's not brilliant. No. Uh, extra safe fill bottle stuff like the the gas locker will only fit one. <laughs> Yeah, we got two. Yeah, we've got two. <laughs> well, but it is what it is. It is. I to say that. It, it is, is what it is. So go and have a look at the other channels. Yeah, go over this. and have a look at the other channels. I'll put uh, links in the description below. Because it's the uh, the shout YouTubers. YouTubers. There is no Saturday. It's what Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So yeah. they all might come out over three days. Yeah. But go and check out the channels. Yeah. worth a watch see what they say yeah, and do. see what they think about their vans because you know there's obviously a different mix of vans in in the collaboration isn't there yes um, full time weekend warriors self conversions self conversions wagons yeah. yeah yeah so there's there's a lot of different types of vans so go yeah definitely go and check them out um, please rem Ooh. does anybody want a husband please remember to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one thanks see very much bit. for watching everyone bye, bye.